Hi guys! So today I decided to do another how to look mature with makeup look. Right now as you can see I'm in my car. This is my new baby and I'm so excited for it. It's a new Jeep Wrangler uh, 2017 and I'm obsessed. Anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so I hope you like and I hope you subscribe. And this look is very subtle compared to the one I did before. No crazy lipstick. Just a way to look a little older with makeup, but nothing too crazy. So I hope you enjoy. Bye, guys. So I already have my foundation on. Um, I decided to do that just because to get huge part of this video out of the way. So what I did use for foundation is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Since this is part two of how to look mature with makeup, I decided to use this foundation because it is a very light foundation and it is full coverage. So it like works oh, for me because like I said, I probably said this in the other video, I don't remember, wearing too much foundation can look cakey and you don't want to look cakey if you want to look mature because, um, yeah, I feel like cakey means high school, middle school, like you don't know how to apply foundation. Also another thing is I have my lashes done, let me see if I can get a close up, they need to be brushed right now. That's another thing, you want your lashes to pop and be out there, I mean, it doesn't necessarily make you more mature. But I think it's a plus to have your lashes done if you want to look more mature. I eventually want to do like a lash extension video talking about everything you need to know about them, how to take care of them, and stuff like that. This is going to be like a nude lip instead because let's be real, we're not wearing red lipstick every single day. At least I'm not. <laughs> I did put concealer on. I put the Get Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is also an awesome concealer that is very light on the skin. It's still full coverage though. It's just, it, it's honestly a really good concealer when you don't want to go too heavy on the concealer. Now, of course, you want to contour. Contour is very important when you are trying to look more mature with makeup. What I use to contour is I like cream and then I go in with powder. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum. And it's actually a concealer, but I use it as my contour. So you're just gonna shape out your face, contour it up, make it look more structured. You can also put it on your nose a little. I never contour my nose, but I will for this video. I don't go too hard with the contour. I just like to have some dimension there. And then with one of my tech, Real Technique brushes, I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm going back with that concealer and if you want you can always wet your face a little if you feel like you are drying out if you feel like you need some more you can always do some more I'm just gonna use this milk makeup bronzer stick and just focus it right on my cheekbone All right, so now I'm just going to set that in. I'm going to use my RMCA powder. Put it in something like this because it's in a horrible container. It's this, and it's like a saw shaker or like one of your seasoning shakers. And I don't understand. It's so hard to get out, and it gets all over the place. I'm just going to put this powder all over my face to be a little matte. And set everything in. Now I'm taking the True Match Super Bendable Powder. This is in 
N, I think it's N7 or, yeah, N7. I'm just going to go over that cream contour. Now, if your cheekbones aren't high, you can always create the illusion of it, them being high. Just make sure that you get down your neck as well because you don't want a line of demarcation. Now, with the shade light palette that's like almost gone, I'm taking this color right here and I'm using it to contour as well. It's a dark color. This is the last step I'm doing for contouring. I know I just put a lot of powder on my face, so I'm just going to take Fix Plus and spray that. And this will set in all that powder and make it all bond together and won't look so cakey and heavy on your face. Blush. I don't like to go too heavy on the blush. If you're doing too pink, it could look too 80s and, and I hate that. For blush, I'm going to use a the Wild Honey color. It's a little darker. It's not too pink and cute. I feel like people will take you a little bit more seriously with uh, a blush that's not so pinky. I don't know, maybe that's me. But on a real technique brush, I'm just gonna lightly dab it. Dab. And just put it on my cheekbone. Now, um, for the highlight, I also feel like it's better to look kind of matte when you wanna look more mature, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight, okay? I've been obsessing with this Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in Twilight. My sister actually bought it for me and I use it on my clients a lot and I just love it. I'll do a swatch for you. It's just so perfect. Because I'm going really light, I'm just going to use a fan brush. This is by Morphe. It's the M497. And I'm going to lightly apply that to the top of my cheekbones. Tip of my nose. Above my cupid's bowl, my chin. And then with the beauty blender that's damp, I'm going to pat that in. It's so important to fill in your brows. It really is. I say that all the time. It's really just so important because it can make all the difference. First, I like to use the brow gel by Anastasia. And I know this is like backwards, but this is what I like to do. So I like to push up over here the corner of my brow and push down the rest of my brow because this is giving me kind of like it's showing me the shape that I'm going to go for. I'm going to use Anastasia's dip brow in ash brown and a it's the number 14 it has the spoolie at the bottom and it's like this this is a really really good brush and this video is focusing on looking more mature so everything I'm doing is I feel like I'm just constantly saying more mature, more mature. Everything I'm doing is to look more mature. <laughs> Obviously. So I'm going a little higher than my brows are actually to give myself an arch. I feel like when you have that arch, definitely looks better. And I'm not really going to touch anything over here. Probably just going to fill in some spots that are bald. I'm just taking that brow gel one more time and I am setting that in. For shadow, I'm doing something very, very simple. Shimmer can look more on the younger side, so you want to stick to mattes. And I think I said that in my last video as well. This Morphe palette is an amazing palette for your matte, mattes and browns. You do want to go darker with your eyes if you want to look more mature. This is amazing and it's very, very cheap. Super, super affordable. I'm doing something very simple on the eyes today. Nothing crazy. 
this is a simple more how to look mature video so right now I'm gonna take this color right here there is no name so I'm just trying to show you and I'm gonna set in that concealer on a blending brush any blending brush I'm gonna take this orangey color and throw it in my crease with the same brush I'm taking the darker brown in this palette and focusing on the corner of my eyes then bringing that in Now I'm just dragging that orange color on my lash line. Now I just added some top eyeliner. I want my eyes to still look open. So I'm going to use the Wonder Pencil by NYX. And do my waterline in this nude color. If you use black pencil eyeliner on your waterline it's gonna close up your eyes with some morphe m432 i'm gonna take any black brown and mix black and brown and then i'm gonna just put that on my lash line my bottom line Eyeliner is very important if you do want to look more mature. Also, don't forget to mascara your bottom lashes. Take that Lorac highlighter that I was using and just highlight my brow bone. And my tear duct area. Last but not least, lips. I'm taking Max Boldly Bare and I'm just lining it up. Now you can use a red lipstick or a darker lipstick. It's just up to you. I use the darker lipstick in my last video like this so I'm just trying to change it up. I'm just going over my lips with Kinda Sexy by MAC. And to give myself that ombre kind of illusion, I'm taking Milkshake Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills and just Focusing that on the middle of my lips. And there you have it, guys. This is another how to look more, more mature with makeup. Um, this is like a more subtle one. Obviously, what you're wearing and how your hair is styled as well helps. But this is what works for me. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Bye, guys.